one. So uh, I'm going to tell you how to prepare this SD card uh, for the Raspberry Pi if you are developing a Linux kernel module on the Raspberry Pi board. So you have to start with the a legacy version of uh, Raspberry Pi operating system. So what I will do is I'll just with the Raspberry Pi Imager and uh, we will actually install the uh, you know we prepare the SD card which is actually having the uh, required uh, kernel headers. So for that you choose here the first thing don't go for the uh, the Debian's Bulli which is updated but uh, it doesn't have the development uh, headers for the kernel module. So I suggest you go with the Raspberry Pi others and click over here and you can actually choose the legacy version okay that is over here so with the desktop or without desktop whichever you are comfortable with so i suggest you to go with the raspberry pi os legacy with the desktop version here click on this and you can choose the storage of your sd card before that you just go with the settings once so in the settings better enable the ssh that's uh, if you are going with the remote uh, uh, monitoring of your pi so platform then you would better go with the enable ssh and let this host name be same and you can just give the password as the default password of raspberry pi as raspberry only that you can set and uh, this if you are going for like configuring the lan if you're going for that's also better because some of the upgradation you need to do for the raspberry pi so better go with the, your ssid of your wi-fi give the ssid of your wi-fi uh, hotspot of your cell phone or maybe the wi-fi router so you can give this and uh, you can set this so also give the country here as so whichever country you belongs to and set the local time zone it can be done and just save it so once you save this then actually you can uh, okay let me give this okay once you save it then you can actually go with the writing so i'm not going to show how because i already prepared it uh, this is a procedure for you to uh, prepare the sd card once you're done with this eject the sd card insert it to the raspberry pi and then you can start booting the device on your system now let's go with so now i connected my raspberry pi so just open cmd and give ssh press uh, pi at raspberry pi dot local so this will open the pi now you see ls so you are now connected to the pi now uh, yeah, you if you wanted to start with the next kernel development, better go with sudo apt update. So you should connect it to the internet. So I'm just upgrading, updating my Raspberry Pi system. Yeah. So. Now next procedure is uh, if you are connected to you can check whether you are connected to the network or not so you can just if config command you can see now I am connected to the wireless network here so you can get the connectivity by just doing ping uh, let's say google.com you can keep ping it now you see it's connected so you should give this uh, once you verify it is connected then you give sudo apt update okay so i already gave it so once you give it yeah the next procedure is to install the required uh, headers for kernel modules that sudo apt install Raspberry Pi kernel hyphen headers. Okay, you should give this. Just hit the enter key. If the kernel header is already available, it says already available and it's a newest version. So now already have it. If you don't have it, this will create one in your folder. Okay. 
Now, to check whether the required kernel modules what you have, what I will do is you just check whether which version of the kernel you have. Just give uname hyphen r. This is the kernel that we have right now. To see what are the different uh, headers, whether the development headers is there on that, you should go to cd slash uh, the lib. Then I suppose to say modules. Then the, you have some option. You can see here one not three. There are many kernel versions of there. So you can just hit plus. Okay. So if you give ls, now you can see here there is a build directory over here. Okay, there's a build directory. If you have that means you have required uh, build functions for uh, creating the Linux kernel module for any of that uh, module you are thinking of. So this is one important thing that we have to check whether your kernel version what you have is this is the version you have the same version over here and you should have the build directory once you do that then you can just go with the kernel module development so let's create a simple kernel module now for that i need to go to a let me go to the home by just to ls cd documents so i kept my documents uh, uh, here in the folder documents so let me navigate there ls so i have a folder called kernel module so just give kernel modules here okay i have two files here hello.c and a make file so let me create delete this make file i'll create one for you again so i have just have one file that is hello.c that's the only one thing i have so what is this hello.c i'm just creating one kernel module this is the kernel module source file so let me show you what is there in this i'm going to open a nano editor or a VA editor you can just use a nano editor here if you don't have install it yeah this is the source code so the first part of the source code is a uh, inclusion of the header files uh, for the required modules and here you have two functions hello underscore init hello underscore exit so once you uh, insert the module this is going to print once you exit the module this is going to print and this is what the initialization you have to make in the at the end uh, module underscore init module underscore exit exit so once you do this just so uh, we need to create one uh, make file for this so we'll create nano make file and the content of the nano make file should be something like this so where you have object hyphen m colon equal to hello dot o that is actually the uh, the, uh, the object file and the the make command will take this make or make clean the make all is kept for compiling make command is given to this so this is our path where our kernel folders uh, header modules are exist so this is a path and we should give this build directory path and m holds the the current directory uh, modules okay similarly current directory cleaning with your cleaning the uh, make clean procedure to delete if you are recompiling you better go with the make clean and then again do make all okay so this i need to type it in the prompt over here okay so uh, object let me verify hyphen m and there is a space required colon equal to hello dot o and if you have further to be added you can just say object hyphen m plus equal to hello 2 dot o okay something like this so i don't have that so i'm not going to give it here so i have only single file for execution so then these two all just go to the next line and just say make okay so all there is a colon required all 
make hyphen C that's capital C then you have to copy the path slash lib slash modules this has to be carefully copied slash and this is a kernel module name dollar you name hyphen r so this if you copy this will take the uh, shell script okay so give the shell so you can automatically take the command for that then hyphen okay and you have a build then m equal to dollar pwd space modules check the case sensitiveness of this right similarly we should have clean separately make hyphen c slash lib slash modules slash dollar shell you name hyphen r then build m equal to dollar pwd then you say clean that's it so once you save this just do control uh, for exiting yeah just to control yeah once you save that file you can just see now the files that i have here i have a make file and hello.c so you can just display the content over here the make file is this what you have just of type and you have the content of your hello.c as this so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give a command the make all that's it. So if I just type make all it will actually compile the file it will enter to the directory and it will compile the file for me and it will generate the required file this is compiled successfully hello.ko is generated. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert mod ins mod hello dot ko i'm going to do okay it is not permitted so give me sudo ins mod hello dot ko just insert it now you can just check these uh the module which has been inserted in the the list called the message see here the loading kernel module okay this has been loaded actually you can see that hello i am kernel i am inside the kernel so this is what this module is being loaded now what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the module so i'll just give the command again sudo rm mod so hello dot ko okay i should give this it will remove the mod and just check the message so it will say leaving the kernel bye so this is how it's going to be loaded it's a simple module uh, that we have loaded and we have taken it back so similar module will be uh, created for other gpu so we this is this how the kernel module is generated in the uh, created in a raspberry pi thank you